You probably saw TypeScript a lot nowadays in vacancies, and you might think, okay, do I need to learn JavaScript at all? Is JavaScript dead? Is it enough to learn TypeScript or not? And actually in the last 5 years I didn't write any applications, doesn't matter business or not, in JavaScript. I always did it only with TypeScript. So actually I can say that I am not developing with JavaScript anymore. And actually it happened not because TypeScript is in a trend now, but because it brings stability. For JavaScript it is normal to debug in runtime. We are constantly getting even on production JavaScript errors in runtime. You simply made a typo in your variable and you probably spend like 30 minutes to just find this typo. Or your project is deployed to production and you are getting standard error, cannot read property of undefined. And it is happening because JavaScript is not safe, you don't have a possibility to see all your errors or at least some validation regarding these errors before runtime. And actually runtime is already too late. And secondly, we don't have custom types inside JavaScript. Yes, we have normal types like strings, booleans, numbers, arrays and objects. And actually all entities that we are creating in the application, we normally create with objects and arrays. Every single time. Which means we implement a list of users and we create an array of some objects. And we don't validate these objects at all. So in JavaScript we don't have some custom types to express our entities. These are all cons of JavaScript and TypeScript actually solves all these problems. This is why it is so popular nowadays. This is why a lot of people are saying JavaScript is dead, we need to just stick to TypeScript now. But it's important to understand that JavaScript is the most popular language in the world. And actually TypeScript is just an extension to JavaScript. So when people are saying that JavaScript is dead, they actually mean that JavaScript is dead without TypeScript static typing, because it really simplifies developing of big scalable applications. And at this moment you might say, ok, but in my company we are using just plain JavaScript with React and we are doing it fine. Sure, it is completely possible, but big companies really want to invest in safety. And you can't get this safety out of the box with JavaScript, but you can with TypeScript. This is why more and more companies are switching from JavaScript to TypeScript. And my students are often asking me, do I really need to bother with JavaScript or should I directly start to learn TypeScript? If you don't know JavaScript, then you should not even touch TypeScript. Because TypeScript it's not another language, it's just a wrapper with static typing and custom types around JavaScript. Which means you can't really do anything in TypeScript without JavaScript, it's not another language. Which means you must learn JavaScript first, all the basics like what are variables, default data data types, how to work with arrays, loops, functions and much much more. And only then, when you know JavaScript on a good level, you must attach to it your new knowledge regarding TypeScript. And also I must mention here that TypeScript is not easy. So first of all TypeScript does not cover functionality of JavaScript and secondly it is extremely difficult. Yes it might look easy, you are just writing some data types here and there, but actually to plan a good architecture with scalable entities across your application, it really takes time, effort and knowledge. Especially if you want to reuse and extend your data types, for example with using generics. This is why most people when they are starting learning TypeScript, simply try to disable TypeScript rules or solve their problems with any just to see their project running in browser. And actually it is completely wrong approach because you continue to write plain JavaScript and you don't have any safety from TypeScript. One more thing that I hear really often is developing with TypeScript is much slower than developing with JavaScript. And yes, it is completely true. You should not just write your code, but all data types. And it's not enough to just write data types, you must plan your entities, how they will communicate, how you can extend them and much much more. It's a lot of time and actually you will spend more time writing data types than writing code. But it is exactly what is bringing safety to your application. And actually people normally count the time to implement the feature, but they don't count time for the bugs and support. And actually TypeScript helps a lot with both of them. First of all it's much easier to write better code with TypeScript, because it will scream in every single line that some property is possible to be undefined and you need to add this case or this property of interface that you are trying to access, probably not there. So yes, with TypeScript you will spend much more time developing your features, but it will simplify your debugging and support of your code. 
Do you need to use TypeScript in all your projects? Of course not. If you have just 100 lines of JavaScript code, it doesn't make any sense to introduce their TypeScript. But if you even have a medium or a big application, I highly recommend you to invest your time, learn TypeScript properly, and build all your applications with TypeScript. Do you need to learn TypeScript at all? As I already said, if you are a beginner, then you should not learn TypeScript, just stick first with JavaScript. And only after you have some experience with JavaScript, you must switch to TypeScript. First of all, with TypeScript your code will be much better and safer, secondly you have a lot of positions with the knowledge of TypeScript and actually they are better paid, which actually means by learning TypeScript you can write better code, earn more money and find jobs easier. Also, it is important to mention that TypeScript won't disappear in a year or two. It already exists a lot of years, and actually a lot of companies are supporting TypeScript using it in production, and there are hundreds of libraries written with TypeScript. And actually, if you decide to learn TypeScript, I have a full free course here on YouTube, so make sure to check this video.